The assignment for this module uses the emergency department model that we created in, in video 3. And what I want you to do is create reference properties for some of the previous parameters that we used. The first one is the satisfaction threshold. So recall that we said that we wanted 80% of the um, patients to be within 30 minutes. So we defined 30 minutes as the threshold for making someone uh, satisfied or not. And so this time I want that to be a reference property. Uh, so that we can use it as a control in the experiment. I want the nurse cost, which was previously set to $4,000, the exam room cost, which was previously set to $2,000, and finally the waiting time cost, which was previously set to uh, $250 an hour. So once we have these in as reference properties, I want you to create experiments that test the following different configurations. And so that I'm defining a configuration as this tuple of satisfaction threshold, nurse cost, exam cost, waiting time cost. And I want you to run a complete OpQuest optimization for the following four configurations. So the 4,000, uh, sorry, 1 half, 4,000, 2,000, 250. This is the same configuration that we did um, in video three, and so this can be a verification that you've done the model correctly, you should get the same results. Then I want to decrease the nurse cost for the second configuration, then we will increase the satisfaction threshold for the third configuration, and for the final configuration we will increase the uh, satisfaction threshold, increase the nurse cost, and then decrease the hourly waiting cost. So again, the task at hand is to create the reference properties and then the experiment. Note as a hint, in your experiments you want to make sure and use the include and optimization property and set this property value to false for our new parameters. So when I run my OptQuest for a particular configuration, I don't want OptQuest to adjust the satisfaction threshold, nurse cost, exam room, waiting time cost. Those are things that I set. And so we can use the include and optimization property so that OptQuest will uh, ignore these values.